Where are you going? Benja. We're just a regular family from Brisbane that decided to ditch the nine to five and take off around the world. But this is not a holiday. It's a new format for living. That's right. It's a new format for living. Yeah, we've left Japan. It's a bit of a change of scenery, but we're now on the European leg of our adventure. Leaving Japan, like leaving Australia just a few months ago, was anything but simple. We had to break our phone, internet, water and other contracts, and we'd amassed a few things during our four months on the island. So packing up was a bit of work. We also had a few final things to tick off our island wish list. We swam to a hidden beach we'd been wanting to check out for some time. And I respected Juna's request to have her final dinner on the island in the bar. Juna had an idea. Before we knew it, we were packed and ready to leave the island. Bye bye, Okijima! We ended our time in Japan with a quick stay in Osaka and Tokyo. We still had no tickets a week before our scheduled departure date, and we were up late into the night of our final night in Japan organizing stuff like travel insurance. Because it was peak season in Japan, it was cheaper to buy tickets out of South Korea. So we first flew to Incheon Airport. And it was here that we learned a couple of good travel lessons. This video, taken before we cleared immigration, shows our final moments with this bag. We'd noticed it was missing after we'd left the airport and boarded a train. We assumed it was as good as gone. But Junko contacted the lost property section of the airport and after we gave them some basic information, she was told that they'd found our bag. We'd left it on the airport shuttle. Before our flight out of South Korea, we visited the airport's lost property office. And after providing a reference number and some ID, we were reunited with our bag. We got it back. We've now decided that Junko and I will each take responsibility for certain pieces of luggage when traveling. <laughs> So we've left Japan, and now we're staying with some friends in Norway. They've been incredible hosts and have shown us a lot in a short amount of time. We've been enjoying walks in the forest and collecting berries. It's been fun deciphering Norwegian in the streets, and Juno and Remy have created friendships that transcend a shared language. We've seen so many electric vehicles, and the kids saw a real palace. Juno and I went to a soccer game. <laughs> We've already learned that Europe, especially Norway, is a lot more expensive than living on that little island in Japan. For example, a 600 ml bottle of water in downtown Oslo was about 5 Australian dollars and the cheapest ticket for an adult on public transport was 6 Australian dollars. It's pretty clear that we'll now have to dip into our savings for this part of the trip. But we saw this coming and we're okay with it. We've already got our transport covered. We bought these rail passes. We can go anywhere in Europe with these. For the next three months we're going to be uh, traveling all over the continent, spending about a week in each location. We realize this breaks from the tradition of the new format for living, but the reason is that I haven't been to Europe, neither have the kids, so we want to make sure that we see everything properly. Um, it's going to be interesting seeing how the kids handle all this change. Uh, it's a bit different to staying in one place for so long. Now, if you're enjoying the new format for living, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. That way you'll know when the next episodes become available. Okay, thanks. See ya. Next, we talk about the question that's on everyone's minds, and that's how do we homeschool our children while traveling around the world? One of the main challenges we've found so far is that Juna sees us as her parents rather than her teachers. Missed an episode of the new format for living? Not to worry. We've got you covered with the playlist here. And if you want to see other great content, check it out up here. And hey, don't forget to like and subscribe to the ABC Australia channel.